Welcome to Impact. In this video, you're going to learn how to get started with Instance Observer, which is a powerful tool that you get access to through the Impact app. Instance Observer is an observability platform for your ServiceNow instances that can help you identify and troubleshoot incidents and performance issues. We'll show you the steps to set up Instance Observer so that you're able to proactively get alerted to any incidents or issues that come up on your ServiceNow platform. To get started, you'll want to start off in your Impact Workspace right on your instance. From there, go to Platform Help, where you'll click on Monitor in the dropdown. This will open a new tab where you can log in to Instance Observer using your ServiceNow login. Once you log in, you'll start out in the All Instances Summary Dashboard. This is your single pane of glass to understand what's going on with all of your ServiceNow instances. Here, you can immediately get a summary of whether your instance is up or down, the number of alerts you've had in the past week, and the status of your active open cases. You can also see any known issues going on in your instance. If any of your nodes are offline or down, and a point in time view of your key instance KPIs over the past 24 hours. You can also create your own custom dashboards. To do this, you can click on the dropdown and hit Create New Dashboard. Enter a name and a description for your dashboard. Once you do that, you can then select the instances that you want to track. You even have the option of aggregating multiple instances in the same dashboard. You can then choose who it's visible to, set the dashboard as your default view if you'd like, and then hit Create. From there, you can add widgets and either create custom or out-of-the-box widgets to add to the dashboard. And using our easy-to-use drag-and-drop interface, you can edit the look and feel of your dashboard as well. Once you're comfortable with your dashboard setup, your next step is to check for any known issues which we've scanned in your instances. You can navigate to see any known issues either from the instance summary dashboard or by using the availability dropdown. Once you get to the Known Issues page, you can click on Get Snapshot to get the latest list of known issues that we've scanned for on your instance. We generate this list based on our own historical data around issues that we know have caused customers to file support cases in the past. Each of these issues has a support KB link that will help you take next steps to fix the problem. There is also a criticality rating from 1 to 4. If the known issue has a criticality rating of 1, 2, or even 3, we encourage you to try to fix the issue as soon as possible. Your next step is to set up alerts and notifications so that you can be notified when one of your performance metrics indicates a potential issue that you might want to look into. Your first step here is to set up notification rules. You'll first want to make sure that your third-party and ServiceNow integrations are turned on. You can go ahead and click Create Integration, enter an integration name, your username and password. You can also edit the contents of your alert and fill in the URL of the instance where you'd like the alert to be sent. Similarly, you can also follow the exact same steps for a third-party integration, let's say with Jira or with Azure. Once your integrations are set up, you can set up your notification rules. You can do this by clicking Create Rule, filling out a name and a description, and clicking all the notification types that you want selected. You can also choose to set this as a default rule. Once you're happy with your notification rules, you'll use the alerts dropdown to navigate to configure alerts. In this example, let's configure an alert for database response time. Once you click on database response time, you'll pull up the alert configuration page. From there, you can choose to set an alert condition based on historical median, moving average, or median absolute deviation. If you're tracking instances that get heavily used, then a moving average or a median absolute deviation would probably make sense. If it's a more lightly used instance, a historical median could be sufficient. You can also simulate the number of alerts that you'll get based on the parameters you decide to set. You can do this to avoid being overloaded with unnecessary alerts. Once you're happy with the alert parameters, go ahead and click on Set Notifications. Here, you'll see the notification rule that you previously set as the default and you can go ahead and click Review and Create. The final step is then to hit Create Alert. Now that you're all set with your dashboard setup, you've gotten a handle on your known issue list, and you've also configured the alerts and notifications that you need, your last step in getting started is to schedule reports for yourself. We've got four types of reports for you. 
a daily performance report, which tells you how your daily instance performance compares to your 30 day average, as well as specific statistics around what slow jobs or transactions look like since the start of the day. You can also customize this performance report using the custom performance report if you'd like. You also have access to a database growth report, which tells you how your database size is changing, as well as which tables are taking up the most space on your instance. If you're paying for different levels of encryption from ServiceNow, the encryption report gives you the exact encryption status that's active for your instances. To schedule a report, go ahead and click on Generate Report and click the Schedule button. You can then fill out the form with a scheduled report name, frequency, timing, as well as an email that goes out with the report. You can then choose the recipients that you'd like. You can either choose to have these sent out to all of your provision instance observer users or just a smaller subset. Now that you've learned how to get started with Instance Observer, you're all ready to proactively catch issues. If you're interested in learning more, please check out our video on how to use Instance Observer to triage and diagnose incidents. Thanks for watching.